Welcome to episode one of Snack Run Podcast. I'm Brady. And I'm Ryan. And this is episode one of our podcast. We're going to try things out, see how it goes. What's going on, guys? Um, so yeah, Brady, so what is the date? Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday, of, September 24th. As of right now, it's the 20... If I had to guess, according to the stars aligned in the sky, it is the 24th. I probably could have checked my watch for that. Yeah, probably. But you are right, it is September 24th. The wonderful 2020, the year of 2020. Oh, dude, can 2020 just get any better? The sun's in the sky. Every band across <laughs> America is touring. Um, we went to Disneyland twice this month. Mm-hmm. We were able to travel to Japan like we always oh wanted Oh my gosh, to. Japan welcomes Americans. They oh love gosh. us. Every, I think everything's going well in 2020. My only issue is that our two presidential candidates are just so amazing. I don't know which one to vote for. They both just bring so much to the table that... I just, as a person, as an American, I wish I could vote for both. I wish I could vote for both. You know? Yeah, honestly. Um, so, what you been up to, man? So, t- t- this week has been... Have you, ever, like, have you ever been so busy in a week that, like, it's... <laughs> it's like, just, like, <laughs> blew up my presidential comments. Um, <laughs> have, you ever, like, <laughs> have you ever been, like, so busy in a week that, like, your fingers snap and... It's already Thursday night. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's how I felt like this whole year went. I do you say? I literally feel like we just got back from our trip, um, when we went, our, our very quarantine and COVID conscious trip up north. Yeah, so we okay. just got back. I feel like we just got back still, and it's already Thursday night. So I don't yeah. know what happens. It's literally like every day I wake up, and as soon as I wake up, I go back to bed. Yeah. So that's what if you're if you're like. 15, 14 years old listening to this or whatever, like that's what you have to look forward to in your twenties. Like you wake up, you black out, and you go back to bed. Hey, like like we always say, it only gets better from here. Yup, yup. I'm not sure who says that. Dead people probably. Yeah. Because they get to sleep or some shit. No, but just to go off that, this whole year flew it literally just feels like it was just March. I don't know if it's just us or if it's like everyone. Like is this everyone? Because it feels like I'm gonna be honest, twenty twenty is not it chief. It's not it chief at all. But I feel like because this year, you know, it's going a certain way it's going, it would feel slow, but like it felt like it was just March 12th, like no, a couple days ago. No, 100%. Um, I tweeted recently that I was like, 2020 can still be your year. And then dot, 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 psych, it's no one's year. You're, you're, it's... <laughs> you're a Twitter fiend. Bro, I am. I'm a, I'm a Twitter deviant. What'd you, what'd you get? What's the most likes you got on that recent comment? Okay, so Twitter's weird. You can have no clout you can have no followers no. you can have no pictures or anything but one of your comments or one of your posts can get like a couple thousand if not hundred thousand likes and retweets yeah. and you might get like 10 people following after that anyway there's this i had this there's this really dumb tweet recently it was like this tweet about um this like wintry wonderland in the netherlands and this person was like filming going down like main street and it was saying yeah. like have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, so something like Christmas. Yeah, and then about. some dude like who just just emerged from his cave recently, or like a coma. He was like, <laughs> "What's this thong?" And I was like, just like not on like sicko mode. And like I didn't, I didn't think of it too much at that point. It was like one of those like really corny jokes. You're like, right? It's, I think it's funny, but I don't know how right. many people are gonna think it's funny. When I'm half asleep, you know, I I just got done like working out, you know, or pumping iron or saving an orphanage and I'm just a little tired from my yeah, day. Like you do. Like like I do. That um that comment didn't mean to much, didn't, didn't mean much to me, but I'm up to about four thousand likes. Oh jeez. Um like almost a hundred retweets and I got about ten yeah. follows. It's crazy, like you could tweet or say the stupidest oh, thing 100%. in the world. 100%. And then you'll, your phone will get blown up. Low key, that's how a lot of influencers come to be too. They just <laughs> they have like some pretty controversial opinion, or they say something just completely wacky. They do something wacky. Yeah. And suddenly they have internet clout. They're on Ellen's show. Mm-hmm. They have their own show on freaking. What's that one channel that gets everyone a TV show? BBC? HBO. HBO. No. No. What's the channel with like with like um storage wars and like. Oh. Daddy's cook off and like uh, I know, know I know what you mean. I know what I'm trying mean. to say is that like people can do something stupid and get clout for it. I think the well. the primary example when I think about that is Damn Daniel with the white vans. Okay. Do you remember that? Yeah, like three years ago. I think it would, it feels like three years ago, but I'm pretty sure it was like five years ago. It, um, was it? Oh, it was five years ago. I think it was five years ago. 
Hey, go ahead and leave a comment down below. <laughs> uh, actually, if you know Daniel, we'd like to actually have him on the podcast. Yeah, we would love to. But anyway, like I was saying, like easy, easy video. Kid runs up to his fan. Damn, Daniel, with the white vans, right? You know, right. classic, classic, classic video. He was wearing white vans. His right. name was Daniel. That I felt like a week later, he was all over the news. He was on Ellen. Mm-hmm. He has on um, he has on shoe. Uh, deal. Oh yeah. yeah, he had a uh, van shoes. Mm-hmm. China actually, China flew that kid out and gave him a a a a shoe deal, whatever shoes made in China, probably all of them. And they actually had they asked Daniel to talk to the the sweatshops, to show them how to make a good shoe. Is that and, like factual? No, not at all. Okay, great. Yeah, no, nothing. Nothing <laughs> I say should be should be taken seriously. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of been my week a little bit. I good, I feel like. Honestly, I feel like it went by really fast. Also, like low key, I feel like I didn't do anything. Yeah. I must have been busy, right? Yeah, I had to be. All right, what about you? What's uh, what's your week look like so far? It's Thursday night. It's Thursday night. Like like you said, just work, work, work. But it feels like it's going so fast. Like, well, I'm in the same boat as you. Like, I felt like we just got back from our, you know, COVID cautious trip. Oh, one hundred percent. Hundred percent. We were in hazmat suits. Hazmat suits. But yeah, I feel like we just got back from our trip on Sunday and. It should feel like it's Monday, but it's definitely Thursday. So it's mm-hmm. just like one of those where you wake up, mm-hmm. you work, mm-hmm. you black out, you wake up the next day. So constantly working, staying on top of that grind. Right, right. Um, it's been wild. It's been wild. Uh, 2020 has got me effed up. Yeah. But um, that's okay, too, because you know, it's also a combination of like just being older and mm-hmm. a combination of like... Um, uh, going through the mundane, I think, yeah. makes time go away faster because you're not doing anything different. Someone always says, like, um, mm-hmm. like new experiences make your life go by uh, a little bit slower because, like, it's new. So, like, in your mind, it's recording consciously. But when, you're, when your brain goes through, like, uh, the motions kind of thing, yeah. um, it doesn't record or take in, like, the information as it used to be because this is the same thing every day. It's hard to explain. No, I get that. Right. So, as, as a... Uh, art school dropout i learned a lot i learned more in the streets but <laughs> well with all this time because of 2020 just mm-hmm. how it's going covid everything you able to have a lot more time at home have yeah. you been like occupying your time with any like new animes or shows that recently came out or maybe getting caught up on wow an excellent segue <laughs> <laughs> i've been practicing i've been practicing <laughs> way to set me up um the simple answer for this week, at least, has been no. No? I haven't watched anything super interesting. Uh, I will talk about the one I watched last night and then what I woke up to this morning. But okay. It's a lot to unpack. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready for it. All right. Is, is the audience ready? Ask uh, them. Are you guys ready? Um, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you're ready. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, go for it. Let me hear So, it. I... A lot of people, like, Netflix has a bad rap amongst, like... Again, I think a lot of anime and pop culture fans just because... Are you talking about, like, the type of anime they reach or their, like, own content they releasing? I think both. I think both. Because I know a while ago, Netflix just started releasing their own type of anime. Like, they're customly That's animated. another thing. That's not actually their anime. It is and it's not. Yeah. It is and it's not. So... It's, like, primarily partnered with Netflix. Yes. Um, so, from my understanding is that... Netflix will pay for a certain series and animes to be produced um, or even to be localized. Mm-hmm. So if like something's hot in Japan, but there's like no plans to bring it to other states or like Europe or anything, then Netflix will like pay that, that middle ground or they'll, they'll pay the, the difference to have it localized for exclusively for their streaming site. Yeah. And they'll slap on Netflix exclusive or produce or whatever. Yeah. And, or... Sometimes I've heard that they actually will just go as far as to like 100% like um, fund fund uh, the whole studio, which okay. is really rad. Um, but as as to like, oh, we we wrote this in house and we had it produced in Japan. It's not there. like they it's actually like fully that. made every single part of it, right? But also like a lot a lot of like anime is becoming more of like a, a norm. You know it's I mean? super normal nowadays. Right. It's getting more and more. It's more crazy normal. how normal it is. Yeah, exactly. But they also like Netflix is like. A household name, and so for them to everybody has a Netflix account, right? Yeah, ex- exactly. Everyone has a Netflix account, and then you partner with like Hulu or whatever, Amazon. But um, what I'm trying to get at is that basically, what was the actual question? Doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep talking like the Netflix originals, right? Quote so, unquote originals. Netflix is awesome because they've been they've been pouring more and more money and more and more time into anime content, which is rad. They saw the success with like 
Seven Deadly Sins and stuff mm. like that. It kind of shows like, I mean, half it's of successful. it. It's successful and it shows like they they care to a point. Right. Anyway, I'm just gonna skip to my. I can talk about this for a long, long time, but I'm gonna skip <laughs> to what I watched last night. It's called um, Dragon's Dogma. Try, never heard of it. It's um, a Netflix one. Of those Netflix produced anime originals, and um, I I like to believe that Netflix has like a lot to offer, and a lot of people don't like Netflix because like I said, like I said, because like their weird rep with like um, with like their hit or miss stuff. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a good fifty fifty on their originals. Yeah, yeah. Not live. It could be live action. It could be anime. Right. It could just so they be. Have, they have it's like anything. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Their, their live actions have had hit or miss, mostly miss mm-hmm. um, results. Um, that one with uh, was it Will Smith? I don't know if you've Will seen Smith that. Smith was in it. Live action. I believe no so. Way. Don't quote me on this, but I think it was called The Bright, and it was kind of talking about segregation, but it was with like. Fair- I saw Bright. Was it that? Was I it? don't know. If that's an adaptation. Is it's not that? adaptation. My bad. It's, mm. it's a Netflix original, right. I believe. Mm. So, that was hit or miss. I thought that was average. It was all right. Right. I didn't right. think it was. So, yeah, that was just going back to the... I thought it was okay. It's a hit or miss. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, so long story short, I believe in Netflix. I think that they're an excellent platform for mm-hmm. anime and, and pop culture. Okay. So, I gave Dragon to Dogma a chance. Can, can you give me, like, a brief little summary? That was it. I, wa- I, I watched about seven episodes of it. You just watched seven episodes? Yep, that's it. Do you think you're gonna continue it? Because no, I'm just kidding. I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about it for sure. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> tell, got, tell me got, about. It. I didn't know like what is it about. Right. So, um, long story short, I give it. I'm, I'm gonna finish it just because like I like to finish stuff. And I don't like to leave things half assed. But I'm seven episodes in. I don't like it at all. No. <laughs> no, I give it like what, a five what, out of what's ten. What's like what throw? What, what throws you off from it? Three D animation is great. Oh, it's three D animation. Three D animation getting better and better and better all the time. So it's all three D animated. So like, but it's like not stiff. It's not stiff at all. Like, there's like great titty animation. There's great fire. And that's that's like, that's top tier. Like, if they have great titty animation, right? And it's not over the top. Like, these kids aren't like flying into the air, slapping in the face or anything. It's like, like they're, uh, they're just there. What's that one zombie high school? anime high school the dead yes yeah like they're to the animation Dude, oh my gosh like how? that's different anyway continue I with swear, this continue high school this. the dead like spawned a whole bunch of pedophiles <laughs> just continue with it we don't got well, that's I'm a not, that's a I'm topic not, for a different day no, I'm, 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 i also want to say i'm not dissing if you like high school the dead, that's i great. liked it growing I, up i liked it too. when i was a young teenage boy you could understand why i liked it right because of the guns exactly guns exactly. and zombie action pack yeah. great antagonist great antagonist not um, a cookie cutter. Anyway, let's go back. Dragons of Dogma mm-hmm. had do, had good animation for for it being hundred percent three D. Yeah, I think what I hated was just the plot mm-hmm. and the and you you're gonna be able to spawn off this too. By the way, right after I'm done saying what I'm about to say, you're gonna be like, oh, I okay. know this, this, and that. Let me hear it. Dragons of Dogma had um, it kind of like a trash story. Guys, I am so sick of this story outline. Something horrible happens, and an edgy badass emerges from the ashes with superpowers. <laughs> I am so sick. Do you think it's just one of those classic tropes where everybody it's not plays? It's just anime. It's manga. It's 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 real life too. You know what I mean? Anime like, manga is the same thing. Like no, I'm sorry. It's not. I'm sorry. It's not, it's not just anime <laughs> manga. It's like Western comics and animations Everything, yeah. too. No, I like, get that. I get that. Super, look at uh, look at Batman. You know what I mean? Look at um. The Red Hood. Look at. Uh, so, are you saying the trope is something bad happens, and because of that, something bad, the per- the main character has to right. rise to occasion so, and be this badass cool exactly. superhero? So, I'm going to give you guys. I'm just going to tell you what happened. I don't give. I don't give too far. I don't give two turtle shits. What's the, what's the name again? Dragon's Dogma. Look it up in the iPad. Okay. Uh, spoilers for Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. So skip if, ahead if to, you want. Um, if you care about it. Skip ahead to 16 minutes and 31 seconds. If you don't want to hear about it. I don't think that's real time. It's not. No, don't 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 quote me on that. Okay. Anyway, um, a dragon comes to this guy's village, burns up his his son, burns up um, his pregnant wife, and burns up his entire village. And for some reason, the dragon's like, "You're worthy," and he gives the dragon or he gives a human a piece of his heart, and then goes back to his lair. The guy wakes up, and is like, "I want revenge," and then he meets a bunch of wacky characters on the way of, on his way to revenge. Um. I will say, I guess the best part about it is that there's a lot of like titties and violence. Oh, but there's not there's not too much of either one, so not, it's not going to be like, oversaturated. Uh huh. But it's just like there was it didn't bring anything to the table. I mean, I'm only seven episodes in, 
So I'll, we'll see if it gets better by next podcast. But um, what do you what do you think about like what grabs you in a story or or an anime? Like what is fresh to you? What's different? I would say because I'm personally sick. I'm personally mm-hmm. sick of like mm-hmm. that. Even even Deadpool. Deadpool like. Like that whole the whole lab burned down. Something horrible happened. Um, they kidnapped his blah blah blah, and now he wants revenge. And Are you talking about like Deadpool the movie? Deadpool, yeah. I'm yeah. not saying I'm not. Yeah. Did you watch Deadpool? Yes, I watched Deadpool. Right. So like he he, he got effed up. He, he looks like a nut. He he has to go find revenge kind of thing. Like yeah. But he has powers now. You know what I mean? Oh. Okay. Does that make sense? Like I'm just sick. Yeah. Of, no. Like, no. I get it. the cookie. I would say definitely a turn on. A turn off is that cookie cutter formula. Everybody does it. It's like breaking that code and doing something new. I feel like a lot of like creators are scared to get out of that mold because they know, oh, it works. It's gonna get me this. It's gonna get me that. Right. Like the, it's the it's early. scary. It's scary trying new things, and that's oh, what sure. I think that's what throws off a lot bet. of like writers. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's an easy, fun formula. You just gotta make. You just have like a really cool, badass character, and then give them like. I think it's that different formula, but the same. It's that underdog story. Okay. Everybody loves an underdog story. Tell me about yeah. Tell me about. Tell me about what you would like to see in in an opening storyline. An opening storyline. From you, that, I mean, if, me. if we're both in a sense, okay. same boat, like we're kind of sick of like the, okay. the mundane. This. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not a writer. You know that. I think the oh, audience knows that. I'm not a writer, but me personally. I read your diary. Yeah, you read my diary. <laughs> uh, me as just like a young adult, twenty something year old college uh, art dropout. I just like a interesting main set cast, like interesting main character, interesting supporting cast, because it's all about like characters and what you do with those characters and how you mold those characters. Okay. And then you have to have a good main driving story. That's about it. I don't know. For me, I'm easy to please. There's not a lot going. Yeah, you like One Piece. Hey, (laughs) what's your? There's exactly no no. But that's I think the main thing. I. I will worship One Piece until the day I die. I know you hate this. I don't hate it because you One haven't Piece. read slash watched it. But that's what One Piece does so well is they have fantastic character building and they don't rush it. The pacing in One Piece is phenomenal. And it's all about world building because once when you build and set this world, then you can adapt the world and you could add whatever you want to it as long as it goes on with the world. So it's great character design, great character building, and then great world design and world like creation, just world building. Mm, okay, because so, once when you have that world set, then it's your free range to do whatever you want with this world. Did you? Um, okay, so if One Piece were to survive without one or the other, would you rather have great cast of characters or great world building? If you can only have <sighs> one, because a lot. That, of, that's the thing. What's so weird about One Piece is they rely on each other. You can't have this great character arc if it doesn't connect to the world. But if you, if I was to pick one, yeah. Okay, so like a lot of. A lot of like lesser, shorter series uh-huh. only have one, or they yeah. or they do both, but at a smaller scale. So I mean, if you can only have yeah. one in in like a twenty four episode anime or mm-hmm. or comic run or series, yeah. what would you choose? A great story driven, or yeah, great story driven plot, or would you rather have great cast of characters? See, with that's like, so hard um, as a One Piece fan. But if think I think of something else, think think of yeah. um, any other series. Yeah, if I'm thinking of any other series, the world could be shit. But if you have a like entertaining main character who is clever and smart and they could get the job or the task accomplished in a creative way, mm-hmm. then I would definitely stick with the character. Like if you have an interesting character, that's gonna help drive your story further. The world just helps build the character. The world is gonna help like create who your character is. Mm, so you rather be- you, you say you rather have a better character. Yeah, better character. Even though like I love One Piece, I love Oda. Oda is a fantastic uh Monica and he does amazing world building but if I had to pick one it has to be like the characters because the characters are like what makes the world the world you know because you have, you have great world building but if you have shitty characters you're watching the characters I don't know 95% of the right. Right. Of, you're reading them or you're watching them 95% mm-hmm. of the show so you have to have great characters I would say a good example and I, I know I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this but this is my take I love Attack on Titan. I absolutely love Attack on Titan. I, I think the animation is gorgeous um, and everything. I will say though, um, you think the character is bad? It has a phenomenal, it has a phenomenal world and a phenomenal, amazing, crazy, crazy story. Watch what you're saying because you're gonna offend a lot of people. I don't give two turtle shits. Go ahead and comment right now. <laughs> don't don't. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I will say though that I don't love. The characters. 
I mean, Aaron is like your typical angry teenager, and then Levi mm-hmm. is dope, mm-hmm. and then Irwin dies. Oh, spoiler! Spoiler! Er- Irwin dies. Okay. Um, and so that's your cast. I and then you I have what the you're ball, saying. You had the bald kid, and then you had the hungry girl with the potato, right? With the potato. Yeah. Yeah, and then that's her whole thing. Like she's okay. hungry. Yeah. For I, I five hundred chapters. <laughs> I respect Attack on Titan and like the success it grew because I feel like that's kind of what that helped with normalize anime definitely back a couple years ago. But I think you're absolutely right about that is the character building because um, I only watched season one of it and mm-hmm. I think it's because of not the sloppy character writing because I mean we don't we're not professional Mon- Monica's we can't write anime but um, whoa whoa <laughs> okay no just continue. <laughs> um, but I feel like just having that interesting set of casts, you know, that cast to keep you moving. The world is phenomenal. I think it's genius about mm-hmm. the world. What do you think about the world? Like, what intrigues you about oh, Attack Oh, because for the first, like, basically almost two seasons, you we thought the world was just, was, it, they kept it so well confined in the walls mm-hmm. that we didn't think there was anything beyond. You know now, what I mean? like mis- it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Did a, a new season just come out? What revealed a lot? Uh, yeah, three years ago. Oh really? Um, okay. Yeah. So I we, thought we've been we've been out of the walls for a while now. Mm. Um, wait, because I'm still in the wait. walls. It's been a while. I'm only at season one. Mm. He just like season one came out in 2013. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that's so long ago. That feels like forever ago. Or 14, yeah. But um, sounds so long. But what 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 I'm trying to say here is that I don't love the characters in Attack on Titan, but I love the story and I and I love the world and I want to see. Mm-hmm what happened to the world and how we got here. And some of the characters are okay. You know, you yeah. have the bald kid and the hungry girl mm-hmm. and you have the angry edgelord and you have like the short badass. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of my take. If I, if I could only have one or the other world building or sorry, great world building slash story or great characters. Yeah. It's a hard one because you kind of need both. You kind of love both. I, I come, I come as people coming from people who like have watched and seen a lot of stuff. It's hard to a just lot. choose this one. <laughs> For coming with two are dropouts who have mm. no no life no time on their hands. right but they know everything we know everything essentially 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 i would think what really helps with world building is keeping a mystery mm. because it's that sense of misdirection or mystery mm. where you're like i need to know what happened or mm. like like you said i need to know how the world got like this or what happened or why is it like right, this. right. it's that leave sense them wondering you know what i mean always leave them wanting more it's sort of like if you go on a first date yeah. and you give it all up <laughs> in the first date, you know what I mean? Like, just go balls to the wall, like, do everything on the first date. Like, buy her dinner? Like, buy her dinner, oh. open the door for her, skydive, propose, get married, have kids, all on the same night, you know what I mean? There's nothing left to want. Exactly. You know, if you give it all up in the first season, no one's going to want to come back from season two, you know what I mean? And I, I would say most writers know how to, like, handle that situation. Right. It's called pacing world building but personally back to this back to the question at hand if i could if i only can have one if i can only have one world building slash um uh what was the thing story story yeah versus character development or characters great characters i would choose great characters because i can relate closer to a amazing character or amazing cast of characters yeah and between characters you can create worlds and situations that's how that's how um Slice of Life animes, you know, they, they freaking do it without worlds, you know what I mean? That's very true. Slice of Life, it's very minimalistic. I think they rely a lot on characters. They rely a lot. They rely all their talent on the situation, the story. I'm a sucker for Slice of Life. I watch a handful. I watch a handful. I haven't watched a lot, but I have Slice watched Slice of Life, handful. romantic comedies. Oh, I'm a sucker. But go on. No, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, if I only have one, I... Think I would just like characters, mm-hmm. but I mean, it's always great to have both. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Kind of going off of that. Go off of that. Unless if you have something. No. Else. Okay. Wait, how? Yeah, we good? How long have we been since? Twenty minutes. Cool. Good. Hey, we're back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we never left. <laughs> we're gonna have someone. Oh wait. Out. No, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um. So you're talking about pacing. I'm gonna try to put you. I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. So if you can't think right off the back of your head. What do that's, you, that's all I do. Is yeah, you're right. They call me back of the head, Ryan. <laughs> okay, since we're talking about pacing, in your opinion... Yes, Dragon Ball shit. Go ahead. Shit, you're upsetting <laughs> a lot of people on this podcast. I'm just kidding. Dragon from Ball's your, okay. From your opinion... You used to love Dragon We used to both love Dragon Ball. A lot of stuff is happening, Brady. A lot of stuff. 2020 I know, I happens. Know, I know. Okay, happens. going back to the question. Like I was saying, best pacing in the anime, Sasha Manga. 
Go. Oh, like, from one series. Oh, I don't know. I, don't I know, know. It's so hard. I know. I know. You're just gonna say One Piece. I'm not gonna say One Piece. Okay. Um, exclude One. One Piece is not gonna be my exclude, answer. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't be answered. Fair game. You should be like. Yeah, it could. It could be my answer. What about like greatest animation? Oh, One Piece. Whoa, greatest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Twenty twenty anime. Twenty nineteen right, animation. What, what I'm trying to say is like you can't say One Piece for everything. I mean, I could. I'm not going to. I could. You don't. You don't oversell the Bible for no reason. Oh my word! Is this so? I mean, I'm just saying. You know what? The greatest, they oversold the, greatest, the Bible. The greatest world building. Go for it. Uh, Jesus of Nazareth. No. no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, Here, let me give you an example. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait. What building? Not world building. Pacing. Oh, pacing. Yeah, I said pacing. My bad. I might say world building. Mm. Best pacing and you know what? anime. Not though, not, a lot of people aren't going to agree with me. But I think, like, I think I really enjoy Demon Slayer. They, and Demon uh, Slayer is yeah. not going to be my answer for everything because they have a lot of great, they do a lot of things great. But, um... There, I'm gonna tell you, amazing. Oh, yeah, 100%. whole thing, I wish it was longer. I understand. I wish it was longer. Oh, I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna say this one and then another one afterwards. Okay. But, um, Demon Slayer is great because, um, my friend and I were talking about this earlier today. We, we went to Fuddruckers, by the way, Fuddruckers is, Fuddruckers is really weird. It's not a good first date place Fudd to Ruckers? go. Yeah, uh, Fuddruckers. It's a burger shop, right? Burger place. It's really messy. So, if you're on a first date... Don't take your girl to Fud Records. Like it's really weird too. They have they have a little play area with balls and stuff. Fud Records? Yeah. I don't remember, but go on. Yeah. And so my friend and I were talking, and he was like, "I don't know, man. I just like how like Naruto took like a hundred episodes to go remember Rasengan, and like I just love how like um anime used to be like really long. And I'm like, well, one attention span shortens. Yeah. Um, a little bit. Plus, like, no one has time to sit and watch 50 episodes of one dude learning yeah. how to make a wind ball in his hand. You well, know let, me, let me put in my two cents. Just really oh, quick. Yeah, go ahead. Sprinkle your two cents. Imagine, imagine we don't have streaming. Imagine if you're watching it live, like, week to week. Week to week. If you see Naruto, like, messing around with this little war balloon thing mm -hmm. for 100 episodes right. straight. You're going you're gonna to see it. After see 100 it. weeks, you're right. going to get a little bit, like, discouraged oh, by yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're going to see you're gonna see Naruto trying to still make a Rasengan, um, you know, a half year from now. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, if, exactly. If, if you're watching on Toonami every, every night, if you even make it, you know, I missed... I missed it a lot. I, I would forget. Yeah. I would go out on parties. I would be making <laughs> money, chasing that bag. And yeah. I was that time. Exactly. Growing up. But go on. Um, shit, titty, fart. Um, what was I saying? So, he was saying that he liked the old stuff, all the old way where it took him 100 episodes. While I enjoy some of the newer stuff, where Tanjiro, I think by episode 5 or 6, killed his first demon, I think it was, in the in the exam arc, the exam, ex exam episode. Mm -hmm. But really, it took him three episodes to train and slice the rock in half, which translated to a year and a half of training. So from, from when we first met Tanjiro to when he first went to the exam arc um, episode, it took a year and a half. And then every episode, not every episode, but like every few episodes, you got new friends and new stuff would develop and it left you on a cliffhanger. Yeah. And I don't know, that pacing was just super baller. You had like the established world and by episode like five and then you had friends and then like, I don't know, man. What do you think? No, I agree. I was just about to put in my two cents like, and Demon Slayer? fantastic like i thought honestly like him learning all the new skills and that training like his mini training arc i thought that was i was like in for it i was like i love it mm. like don't want to sit here for right. like two weeks straight listening or w watching it fantastic pacing in that so also like if demon slayer would have came out like back in 2000 2001 2002 they may, i guess they could have like expanded that that was the style back then they could have ex they could have expanded his training to 35, 40 episodes. Mm -hmm. They could have done it easily. I mean, yeah. anyone could. I mean, if you're able to summarize, like, the least... I mean, that part, training is very important. But if you're able to summarize the not-so-importance part right. to move on with the story, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of writers, they keep with, like... They want every single detail included in, like, their story. Mm -hmm. So that's what they get stuck on when you could, like, move on with the pacing of the story. Right, right. I, I, I believe that. Um, and also, like... While it was short, it wasn't, like, easy. Like, it showed him struggling, yeah. wanting to give up, crying over his sister. His hands were calluses. His hands were, like, rocks. Because he was like, trying he, to cut that big rock. He right? was trying to cut a rock. Yeah. Like, dude, take a sword to a boulder. Like, 
cut that shit. And I think it, the vibration alone, you hit it. It's like, right. And it happened a lot too. Yeah. And, and, and it would show them like struggling to breathe a lot. So it wasn't like it was easy. It was no walk in the park. And a lot of people were just like, not, not a lot of people, but my, some of my homies were like downplaying it, saying like, oh, it's not that good and everything. Yeah. I like how Naruto took 400 episodes to remember I sing on and find his friend. I'm yeah, like, I feel like, who has time for that shit? Yeah. Either? And definitely with Naruto, Naruto, I, you love Naruto. I love Naruto. It's, I, I of, like it. Of my big three, of the big three, it's my favorite. I love it too. But Naruto's so normalized now, people get stuck with comparing it. Oh, I know, dude. Don't, don't join anime Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's very toxic. But going like back to uh, pacing, let's talk about good, fast pacing. Uh, this is my two thoughts. That's, that's Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. But another one too. Mm-hmm. I would say, because you're talking about slow pacing and fast pacing, but how to do fast pacing good. Uh, Crunchyroll, original. Uh, God of High School, what do you think about it? The pacing and that, how fast it goes. Because that is, I would say, a faster... Have you watched it? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, I, I watched most of it, Did yes. you catch it? Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. It's absolute. I feel um, like every single episode is an event. Like, there's something... I mean, it's a whole anime based off of a tournament arc. Right. So, God of High School went from zero to a thousand... In five episodes. Not even five. I feel like it went so fast. So, they're they're an anomaly. They're in a class of their own. They're mm-hmm. in a pacing class of yeah. their own. Um, God of High School, every episode can literally be an arc. Literally. Every every episode literally. can be an arc. Is but there... do you think that too fast a pacing goes too fast? Yeah. Will that I... ruin the series? Um, I don't... I don't... I love God of High School. Let me just get off the chest right now. I will say that if they want it to, they can expand the story. I don't know why they're going as fast as they are. I really don't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't read. I'm all caught up. I haven't read um, the webtoon. No, me either. Me either. But a lot of people love it. Obviously, it wouldn't have gone in the anime if it, if it wasn't truly loved. But mm-hmm. it's just every episode can be a story arc. You have one episode like where there's a chase scene, and then they're all friends at the end of the chase scene, and then there's an episode with like. Oh, there's a plot to marry this person and take over a dojo, and yeah. then at the end, there's, an end, there's a there's a piece of tournament, and like it's just like four days later, we have gods battling each other in the middle of, of Seal Tokyo. Or, it's literally crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Seal Kyo, Kyo, Korea, by the way. I'm sorry. It, it's it's a Korean based webtoon. Yeah, not Japanese. A lot of hate for that. I know. I'm already ready for it. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that, like I said, that that series is in a class of its own when it comes to pacing. It's mm-hmm. every episode. Also. Don't let that, don't let that, like, freak you out. Honestly, God of High School is phenomenal. Every episode has, like, a movie budget for some reason. It's... It's crazy. It's really good looking. Um, but, um, what about, uh, what about you? What's, what's your, what's your, what's your favorite, like, um, uh, fast-paced anime? I think I agree with everything, what we just said. Demon Slayer. God of High School, very, very fast. But, I feel like everybody has their own level of pacing they could. Like, your buddy, he loves the pacing of Naruto. But He's I... also old. Yeah, it all depends. Who. <laughs> I, love, I love him to death, but he's just part of like that last generation, old that's, generation. That's like that's like, old like, anime generation. Yeah, he's, he's like one. Of, he's one of those guys. Who's like, ain't no school like the old school. You know what I mean, young blood? Come on, give me some. Come on. You know what I mean? He's so like, like he's a guy. huge fan of Naruto. Probably shits on Black Clover. He never watched Black Clover. I told him if you does Black Clover, not nah, in a good way. In a good way, Black Clover. I feel like emulates Naruto a lot. In yeah, a good way. Yeah, it's it's Naruto, but replace Hokage with Wizard King, and make it better. And that's <laughs> that's I mean, It's like, but it's like one of those things where it's another underdog story. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Like, imagine if everyone was born with arms and legs, and you were born with no arms and no legs. That's basically Black Clover. Everyone yeah. was born magic, and this dude has no magic. He has to rely on like his muscles, mm-hmm. and um, it's crazy. Talking about underdog stories, I'm really good at these transition. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not natural at all. Anyway, talking about karma. Um, no, I'm kidding. Talking about underdog stories, the newest chapter of My Hero. Give me your thoughts. So, if, I'm going to tell you okay. about Naruto. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you about my thoughts right after a word from our sponsors. This episode of the Snack Run Podcast is brought to you by Sunday Morning Supply. Five years ago, my life was in absolute decay. My wife had just left, took the kids, the dog, the house, and I was left homeless on the couch of my high school football coach. I woke up every night to him watching me, sometimes with multiple people, who were drunk, by the way, and would poke me with a stick until I did the Macarena. Sunday Morning Supply provides all the hottest artist-made anime merch and pop culture stickers, along with clothing. 
Use discount code SNACKRUN at SundayMorningSupply.com to receive 10% off your entire first order. That's right, Snack Run, all one word, at SundayMorningSupply.com. Link in the description below. Order now. And we're back. Yeah, and we're back. So, as of this recording, September 24th, 25th. 24th. 23rd. That's what say. Yeah, so it's 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 Thursday. Um, it's 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 Glizzy Thursday, and um, this morning I woke up to something um, absolutely horrible. What was that? So think of Brady. Go ahead and just think for a second. Okay, my eyes are closed. You th- okay, your eyes are closed. Imagine the absolute worst thing that's ever happened to you. Okay. In times that by ten. Okay. All right, that doesn't even come close to what happened. I woke up to this morning. Wow. I woke up to my hero spoilers two hundred eighty five of the manga. And it was intense with an app with a capital. Whoa, in. whoa, whoa, whoa! Spoilers. Whoa, Just whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> calm, <laughs> calm down. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Okay, what's Wait, the chapter? Should we hold on? Should we keep it spoiler free? Or should you do a sp- mm. yeah, do a spoiler free. Leave a comment if we should leave it yeah. spoiler free or well, not. Well, it's too late. Leave it spoiler free. Okay, so keeping it spoiler free is gonna be difficult. But let me just say where where the There's- manga is right now. The war arc is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. We are at, like, I want to say god levels of, like, battles, but we are, like, it's going from, like, oh, I can stretch my arm out really long to, like, yo, I can I can level whole cities with a single slap of my wrist. Yeah, yeah. Type powers. It's crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy because it feels like I'm looking at the previous chapter beforehand, and it feels like they all have, like, the same level, what All Might had at the beginning of the series. Yeah. Like, it feels like they're all at that level. So it kind of makes it like, oh, what was so special about All Might? But I know that's just pacing with powers and stuff. And they're all supposed right. to get stronger and stronger. And not everyone like that, like that either. Only, like, three or four characters are, are like, But I'm looking at the previous chapter, and they are leveling this city area where, you know, the mm-hmm. fight's going on. These certain characters. Right. So if you're a My Hero fan and you're kind of just getting into it or like it's not like at the scale of Dragon Ball for you or anything like that, this war arc has been absolutely insane. Um, it's like full on battle between the heroes and the villains. Um, about three heroes have died. One hero lost an arm and a leg. And she's an extremely popular hero. Oh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Someone, <laughs> a, girl, a female character loses both an arm and a leg. Or a male character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all, all male character. Um, <laughs> uh, it's absolutely insane. Um, you know what? Next podcast, we're going into it. We're just, we're just gonna go balls to ball of it because, like, yeah, because I, it's hard to talk about it without the spoilers. Yeah, next podcast, uh, by then the chapter will officially be out. So, right, let's just talk about it next podcast, but I'm uh, like more hardcore. But, um, as of right now, uh, there are about four characters I want to say that are like at, at like a, a young All Might. A young All Might um, power level, yeah. In a sense, and um, so they're just they're just hammering at each other like hardcore, and it's mm-hmm. they're it, they're not even shy about blood. They're not, sh- dude. Some one it's of the brutal. characters, yeah. One of the characters had, like a, like, their jaw ripped off. Yeah, it's absolutely brutal. These these basically high schoolers. It looks like they're going through hell. Not basically high. Yeah. They are high schoolers. Exactly. They're um, going through hell, and it's like, what? Where? You know. Yeah, it starts off fun. It really starts off like very hey this is a fun fun show for fun people you know what i mean i'm very i'm gonna be very like excited to see what they're gonna do with the anime how they get anime right it's gonna be like like what they're gonna do because the animation team behind my hero first couple season fantastic right and plus, i would think they won a couple awards already but amazing so i'm excited yeah, bones, to see bone studio mm-hmm. yeah exactly bones amazing i mean they're known for their work across the stage mm-hmm. so I'm excited to see what they do, how they do it. The manga art looks phenomenal. Oh, dude! What me, me being a One Piece fan, not used to like this Love very it. detailed manga manga work and panel and that's structure. Not, it's not, and that's not a a bash at Oda at all. I mean, it's a style choice. Hundred percent. From what Brady has told me, this man's Oda's um schedule is absolutely insane Sense, but yeah it, it is a style yeah. choice as I, won't well. I, won't, I won't go into it i won't go into it because i will always go into one but of these. in my opinion i greatly vastly prefer my hero art um it, i feel like it is more detailed i will say though that his art style sometimes it's difficult to understand what the action scenes are going on i will say that though 
Um, Do you think like the directions of the panels kind of throw? He's gotten better. He's gotten better. Mm -hmm. Like a long time ago, one of the editors like, "This is great," but no one can understand what's going on. In I mean, he's one of the newest guys in the game. Right. He's only like thirty-five at this point, thirty-six maybe. Yeah. He's one of the younger ones. I mean, compared to you know. And compared to some of the bigger ways. I would say compared to I don't know, Toyo Taro. Just But he's basically the same. Uh, Let me see that. Just absolutely insane. If you guys don't know, we're looking at um, some of the panels of last week's chapter. Yeah, last week's chapter. That's it's te- it's technically, 284. Yes, it's technically the latest chapter since the new chapter had, were just like uh, like some pages so far. But um, Yeah, I don't think that's a spoiler. But I would say I love <laughs> the change of art in uh, Afro Deku. Afro Deku. Yeah, Afro Deku. So that's not a massive spoiler, but that's not. I don't think that's a spoiler at all. That's just it's just Deku with an Afro. It's dude. If you're yeah, if you're on Twitter, you've seen Afro Deku. He he's canon. He's real character. He's, real he's gonna haunt your dreams. Afro Deku can't and will hurt you. He will. I love him. I think he would. He should have stayed. <laughs> he definitely should have stayed. I could see him with that the whole time. Um, but yeah, my hero, in my opinion, absolutely killing it. My hero is probably top three for me. Mm. Um, series. Uh, I every week, you know. Also, guys, next week I'm just gonna go full on balls to the wall talking about every chapter. If you guys are interested, just to know about, uh, we'll put big spoiler uh, spoiler yeah. alert next week, but we're gonna go balls de- balls deep and spoiler mm, for sure. So for if you sure, guys want to yeah. hear more about, just come next week. Yeah, and by next week I'll also be caught up with the One Piece manga. I'm, nah. gonna, I'm gonna start from chapter one t- tonight, and I'll be. We're up. not going into this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have strong things to say. Yeah. So, what about you? Have you um, have you have you watched anything good this week or last week, movie wise, anime wise? Mm, let me tell you. So of course, I always keep up with One Piece. Mm. I've been keeping up, very impressed with the My Hero. I started uh, started Chainsaw Man. Yes, you got yes. me into it. I know. Yes, tell me about Chainsaw Man. Okay, if you guys aren't familiar with Chainsaw Man, uh, <laughs> help me explain this. If if you know. He's a, I only know the premise. I, I know the premise. Yeah, I only uh, to introduce myself. I caught up on chapter uh, eighty-five and stuff. So it's just like of Chainsaw Man. Yeah, you've read eighty-five chapters of Chainsaw Man. Yes, it's. I'm very. The art style throws me off. How did you do that? I told you about like two, like four days ago. You told me about a week ago. I'm a loser. Remember, we're you're intense, dude. Yeah. So if you guys don't know Chainsaw Your Man, poor wife. Yeah, I won't talk about this too much because. I think it's all right. I don't think it's the best. Okay. Okay. That, that's, that's our style. I like it. It's different. It's it's definitely different. It's bloody for like a, so, a teenage magazine. I think that's what threw me off is just the gory aspect of it. Because mm-hmm. I thought first reading at first glance, I thought it was a comedy. I honestly did. It seems so with the McDonald's scene, right? Yes. That's uh, so wild. You've read eighty-five chapters. Mm-hmm. These must have skimmed them a little bit. You know, you could read manga a lot faster than you could watch anime. Is that not real? What? Is that not Me, true? Really? Shut up. Is that <laughs> cheat code? Is that cheat code? Anyway, here, I'm, I'm showing Ryan the, the latest chapter. Okay. 85 of Chainsaw Man. Right. Yeah, this is the it's, one that was trending. Yes, it's absolutely crazy of the art style and the detail of Chainsaw Man. Right. So far, I like it. I don't know if I love it. Okay, that's fine. Um, I hear that this is the next one to... So wait, is this a comedy, by the way? It's kind of weird. It, it felt like a comedy. I don't think so. I'm still getting grasp on it. Like, How are you still getting grasp on it in chapter 85? Yeah. So, it's good. I like it. I would say if you guys just want to get introduced to it, skim 85. See if that's the type of thing. Oh, wait. You just skimmed 85? You didn't actually read up to it? No, I, I skimmed and read up to 85. But if you're interested in Chase Not Man... Skim 85 and see if that there's no spoilers in 85. I don't think there's spoilers in this entire um, manga. But it feels like comedy, kind of looks like comedy slash horror. So it's like a horror comedy. But I like it. Um, I'll, get, I'll keep on giving it a try, keep on reading it. Interesting. It's that- definitely one of those like weird ones that kind of throw you off. Mm. Like, um, you know those animes where it's like, oh, it's nice and innocent. And boom. Something brutal happens. Yes, um, a good one. A great example of that is um, Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss. I was gonna say something else. What are you gonna say? Uh, I think it's called Doka Magica. I watched that one as well. That one. Is our I stopped. I stopped right. <laughs> I couldn't. It got too much. I watched. Me. I think almost all of it. Or I did watch all of it. Yeah. But um, I will say those the fight scenes in Madoka. Yeah. Are just 
these seriously are better than Dragon Ball, in my opinion. Like they're. Yeah. they're I didn't. I don't know too much because I stopped out there at the gory part. If you guys don't know, it's innocent, you know, magical girl type. Yeah, of yeah. So yeah, it's, it's a bunch of like super cute girls who uh-huh. go to super cute high school in a super cute town. And then like, I mean, it's been out for a while, but plot twist: something tragic happens, and it just gets gory. And well, gruesome fast. But the fights are dope. The fights are super yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, if you haven't gotten to a fight, maybe, maybe sure. I'll maybe I'll give it another shot. I just remember I was younger, just, and it really threw me off. Came out five years ago. How old, how old are you? Oh, you, you must have been like 17. <laughs> Didn't come out five years ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Look it up. Look, Look it, it up. up. I'm looking it up right now. Because I, I remember it like hearing about it, really like new into high school. I think if I had to put my money on it, I would say like 10 years ago. Time flies, man. Let me hear it. Oh, no way. Give me it. What is it? 10 years ago? Mm, almost 10 years ago, yeah. First episode came out in 2011. 2011? That's nine years ago. That's insane. You're I, old. I, yeah, I mean, no, no. I watched it for the first time five years ago. Oh. That's, okay, that doesn't mean it came out five years ago. Uh, yeah, so you're right. <laughs> um, what I was going to say is Made in Abyss. Made in Abyss, look it up real quick. Um, oh. It's super amazing. That one won, like, best uh, music of the year. Um, it should have won like best story, but basically a bunch of like super cute like little explorers go down to like a oh I I know me and this. I haven't watched it yet, but I heard a lot of good things. Check it out. It's like I want to say like I don't know like twenty episodes, not even. Um, but basically a bunch of like um, cute little explorers go down to a cave and like does that get gory? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh for real. Yeah. Because so, it's like one of those that gives off a cute presence. I don't care if, if I'm exploring this because it's been out for like four years now or three years now, but basically. Um, 2012 yeah. came out. The manga or the anime? Uh, I think it's manga. Okay, but I said the anime came out pretty recently. Okay, it says uh, original run, October 20, 2012. For, for manga? I believe it's manga, yeah. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so they got into a pit, and there's like nine layers to this massive hole, and each hole, um, you're fine going down the hole, but to come back up, there's like a different sickness you have to deal with each time. So if you're in like level three, you're dealing with like shitting blood, coughing, headache. Oh, sicknesses? Yeah. So to come back out of the hole, oh. you can't come back out basically. But if, if you get down to like level eight, you're dealing with, with hallucinations. You're dealing with like um, with like all your pores coming out with blood, stuff mm. like that. Like you cannot go back up from the hole. Like it's just impossible. But anyway. I feel like that's very different from like. The norm. norm. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I love it. It was yeah. fresh. It had great music. It had great animation. It went from super cute to like, oh my god, this person's going to die. Yeah. And they do. <laughs> Not all of them. I might like. check it out. I don't really like horror stuff. Mm. Like gory horror stuff. But I'll check it out. Let's, 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 let's take it somewhere else for a second. I hope you guys stay with me here. But I recently watched a new movie. I don't want to hear this. I know what you're about you to say. To, I know what you're going to say. To to me. If I have to listen to you talk about Oda one more time. <laughs> you mean Goda? <laughs> Yeah, go to God Oda. Yeah, I respect him. Um, go on, tell you about your terrible the, Netflix show. <laughs> it's it, I watched a new movie recently that was very highly um, pushed by Netflix. It was called The Devil All the Time, and then I might have watched it, might have not, but um, it was it was featuring some big name actors. I think it was like that uh, Aaron girl from The Office. It had Tom Holland and it had Robert Pattinson. Yeah, so Spider Man so, and huge names. Ed- so yeah, it has Spider-Man, Batman, and yeah, yeah, Batman. the concierge <laughs> from the office. Nice. <laughs> um, so I was like, you know, I'll, I'll give it a try. Very disturbing. Really? Very disturbing. I'll, I'll probably do a whole video on it. So it's a horror. Yeah. yeah I think you told so, you told me a little bit about it, and I zoned out because I did a, not want to hear about it. It's a drama horror. Um, I was Tom Holland. I'm, takes, a, I'm a big fan. Is he good? You know what? Honestly. He did a he did a good job. He does a good job in everything. Well, he, I'm saying like we know Tom Holland. Even his voice acting, he's a good boy. He's a he's like that that golden boy, golden hearted Spider Man, golden hearted. Um, he played in uh, Onward. Oh, he was um, good. Yeah, he was solid. I mean, Chris Pat. And yeah, Chris Pratt. Great duo. Chris Pat, Chris Pratt. Um, <laughs> so he he is, and with good reason, he is a protective. A little bit of an asshole, protective dude in this movie, and he does a good job. He does a good job transitioning from like, oh, I, I got saved the day I'm at Spider-Man. I'm bummed out. Iron Man's dead. Spoiler: Iron Man's dead. 
Uh, <laughs> it's the number one movie in the yeah, world. If you haven't, so, wa- if you haven't uh, watched it, you probably get out of your hole. Yeah, what the heck? You probably haven't even discovered this podcast yet. So, um, so yeah, he he he's kind of pissed off a lot. People are bullying his sister, and so he like finds these bullies individually mm-hmm. and f's them up. Like he's like, you better do that or you're fuck touch my sister again. Just like punching the, sh- the crap out of people, and like um, it's brutal. Shooting people. He interrogated this priest, stuck a gun up his ass, and shot him. Something bad must happen to the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not the it's not the neighborhood. You can't you can't take the neighborhood out of the spider. You can always put the spider back into the neighborhood. That's what I was taught growing up. Okay, go on. It was it was a solid movie. It um I would say that you have to be in a, a good mindset to watch it. It's definitely disturbing. Um. I know, I know you're not like really into. Is it that, that spawned from something? Did something happen to you as a kid? Were you in a horror film yourself? No, I'm just a big bitch. No, yeah. that's basically what it is. I hate scary stuff. Okay. Like I, Halloween, uh, not a fan. Did you watch Jeepers Creepers? Jeepers? Hell no. So, um, when I was does it like, look like I watched Jeepers Creepers? No, it kind of looks like you watch Sean White videos and David Dobrik, and you kind of look like you let your girlfriend like dress you from Ross or something. I appreciate it, man. Um, but when I was a young buck, straight living, growing up in the mean streets, mean streets of surprise, I was hiding behind. I was like ten, yeah, or eight. I was hiding behind the couch one, one night, and my parents were watching a, a scary movie. Jeepers Creepers, bro! It was it at me. Up. I think I'm the same way because I think someone was watching a movie and I wasn't watching it, but I kind of was paying attention to it, and I was like, I want none of this. I want no Did you watch part. Watch the whole thing. No, I, not oh, cheaper okay. creepers, but like a different scary movie, mm-hmm. like I don't know, Insidious or some shit, scary shit. Insidious like that. is alright. Insidious is good. No, but, um, I think it's that mentally scarring up. Yeah. So I watched the whole movie, but from behind the couch, I didn't even know I was there. I mean, they might have known I was there. They knew when I was there. Shout out to mom and dad. You're a bad parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I watched the whole Jeepers Creepers, and the scene with his eyes falling out at the end of the movie. Spoiler, man. Just. <laughs> the scene with his eyes falling out in the movie absolutely wrecked my world. I was eight at the time. I asked my mom to watch me pee. Like, that's how scared I was to close the door. Like, it was that bad. Are we talking about how big of a bitch we were and when we were kids? Yeah, let's have, a, let's, I, let's have a how big of a bitch are you contest. Go. Bro, I was so scared. Um, I was... I was so scared when I would put on my shirt, I would have to go really fast because it was too dark. <laughs> it was like, I couldn't close my eyes. I would like put it on really fast. And then like whenever I would take a shower, I would literally have my sister like just sit in the bathroom while I'm in the shower. How? I could, and I couldn't like what, with the door open. What spawned that? Like what? I don't what know. So you... like, it must have been some mental trauma in the womb. What happened? Dude, did someone punch the womb while you're in it? That sounds... <laughs> I think so, I think my mom just used to watch scary movies when I was in the womb. That and that and that in, in, in gave well, you. Well, because the shirt thing that came like my imagination was crazy. Like when I was a child, so that was like I would put my shirt on. I thought I was going to a different world, and I would like get lost. So I know it sounds silly. It, it sounds right. you might have already won the biggest bitch contest, but I might, have, <laughs> I might be able to one up you. Okay, let me hear. That's actually pretty intense, though. I've never had anyone sit in during my shower. I never had such a bitch in front of me. Right, but also like. It's kind of crazy because you say that, but you haven't watched a whole lot of scary movies? No. Yeah, I've watched a lot and like... I'm so scarred. Like, um, I don't know, just from my living being. Yeah, I, I mean, your life is like, you know, you, you grew up in surprise. It can't be bad. Yeah, my white suburban life you're, you're, is very you're, scary. Your white picket fence neighborhood, you know, all your white neighbors. It can't be scary. No. Go on. What, what's the... Um, another another uh, huge bitch move for me is um, when I was, uh, when I was 12... Me and this girl have been talking for a long time. And, like, back then, you, you know, you cast notes, you text, and you like, hey, babe, my track phone is about to be out of text messages. Can I just see you tomorrow after lunch or whatever? So, yeah. Like, you, you didn't have a limited messaging back no. then. Like, my dial-up wasn't the best either. So I couldn't talk to you on AIM messaging. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah, go on. Um, we'll start wrapping up here in a minute. But, um, basically, we talked to this girl. I talked to this girl. We were talking for a long time. And we got a group together, and we went to this, we went to go see the movies. And I sat next to her. She next to, she sat next to me. Our friends are setting us up, basically. You know, you know how friends do. You know, you've seen you've seen these TV shows. And I got so nervous to hold her hand in the movie theater that I ran to the bathroom halfway through the movie. By the way, it was a movie about the Rock being a tooth fairy. 
Probably like a six out of ten. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a review out of it. Movie um, episode out of it. Okay, go so on. So halfway through Tooth Fairy, it was called Tooth Fairy Creature in the Rock, and the that Tooth Fairy, girl. The tooth, um, yeah, the Rock accidentally kills the Tooth Fairy, so he has to become the Tooth Fairy, so that, um, the Tooth Fairy like business can keep going. That sounds like an early two thousand movie. It's not. Days. It's the Santa Claus from nineteen ninety one. With um, Jim, Tim Allen? Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Oh my <laughs> Jim God. Allen. Jim Allen. <laughs> but it's basically a copy of that. Anyway, so I ran to the bathroom, and I threw up. And my friend was like, he's like, he's like, bro, stop being a bitch, bro. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, we're 12. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of those things where, like, your hands get all sweaty and musky? Oh, dude, my hands were... <laughs> Oh, I could have filled the Atlantic Ocean with my with my hands. You sweat hands. Oh, bro! And then I went back. I went back to the. I went, after I got, I got, got done throwing up, I went. I ran back to the tooth fairy, mostly for the plot. <laughs> <laughs> and I held her hand, and she held my hand back. And, and then when you guys let go, you couldn't let go because your hands were sticking we, together. Yeah, kind of like that, but um, mostly because of a. No, I'm not, I can't say it. This is a very PG uh, podcast. Um, but yeah, we ended up holding hands for like four hours. That's how it goes when you're yeah. when you're the when you're a child. You're like, do I let go? Does she let go? Like, who, who's gonna let go of the handhold yeah, first? Yeah, like also like when you're like a kid kind of thing. Like, like all that to you is so new and so magical. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, can, we can go on for a whole other podcast of like early love lives and stuff like that. But yeah, like, I feel that. Well, that's uh, romantic. What you think of it? Wait, hold on. Do you have? Can you one up me in in the bitch contest? I mean, we got different levels of bitches. I think we equaled out. You're a bitch on, like, girl situations. I'm a bitch. Even today. Even today. Yeah. And, and, and Brady's still afraid of, of shirts. scary movies. And shirts. Ugh. I don't wear a shirt, ever. Yeah. I'm shirtless right now. Yeah. We, dude, it took me forever to have him wear pants in my house. It's really <laughs> scary. His penis is scared of the dark. It's more comfortable that way, man. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but um, catch us next time for uh, more, more bitch contests. Yeah. Exactly, and uh, I we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna play Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. If you guys like this content, check out this channel. We have new content coming out mainly every day. We have Just let's about, yeah. yeah. We have let's plays on uh, Friday and Saturdays. We mm -hmm. have reacts and reviews on Thursdays and Tuesdays. And we're gonna throw on whatever else we want. You know what I mean? We yeah. we're the creators. Hey, you know it's our life. We could do what we want. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, G. So we got we got we got plug in the, the usual, you know what I mean? We like, comment, subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Um, exactly. Ring, ring that bell, bro. Ring that bell, smash that button, mm. check us next time. I want you to find that button and I want you to do things to it. Consensual things. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna leave. Alright, bye. Bye. <laughs>